chilly out yeah, there. So kind is. of fitting for the holiday <laughs> parades, but be sure to bundle up, get the scarves, the cute coats. The cute coats, <laughs> that's the key right there. Yeah, for sure. And of course, it's Black Friday, so if you don't have a cute coat, today's the day to buy one. one. Yeah. You're going to need it. You're going to have to wear it out of the store, though. Here's a look at our holiday shopping forecast. Temperature is in the 40s. Winds gusting up to 25 miles per hour in the triad. Chilly and breezy in the foothills as well. And in the mountains, we had some flurries out there that are drying up at this point. Our high is only in the mid 30s and we've got winds high too. So we'll be talking about that being a factor, uh, feeling more like we're in the 20s at times and maybe even in the teens. Here's a look at our Black Friday forecast, especially as far as wind is concerned. That's really what we're going to talk about first here. Winds gusting up to 25 miles an hour in the triad, 20 in the foothills and 30 in the mountains. That means that we've got an increased fire danger today with those winds gusting up to 30 miles an hour. We've got lower relative humidity after that cold front pass through. And of course, so we haven't had much rain. We had some showers overnight, but still by and large, some very dry ground fuels, brush and leaves. So those breezy winds will contribute to fire danger. So burning is not recommended today. If you can avoid it, please don't do that at all uh, to avoid some of those conditions. We are already seeing winds pick up in the area. Calm in some spots. We've got six mile an hour breeze in Greensboro, seven in Winston-Salem. Take a look at the foothills where we're in the 10 to 15 mile an hour range and just past our forecast area in the mountains. We've got some high winds as well that moves into our entire area pretty soon. Here's a look at our temperatures starting to fall here already. 40 degrees in Greensboro, 37 in Galax. This is because of a cold front moving through. Here's a look radar and satellite. The showers associated with that cold front are already past us as we zoom in closer into the triad. For the most part, we're drying out some moisture is still out there, but that air drying out pretty quickly as we head through the next couple of hours and in the mountains we had a few flurries but those are starting to dry out as well so we won't have much more to talk about as far as rain or snow is concerned for the rest of the day and for the rest of the weekend we've got winds 10 to 50, or to, uh, 10 to 15 miles an hour gusting up to 20 miles an hour as we take a look at the triad and in the foothills temperatures only getting to the mid to upper 40 so it'll feel colder than that because of the wind and the mountains really the concern here with those cold temperatures and cold wind chill numbers especially because we spend most of the day below freezing to begin with and the winds just make it worse. So make sure if you're headed out in the high country today, you've got all your skin covered because this could be a hypothermia frostbite kind of day, and especially in the late hours. Here's a look at our seven day forecast. Tomorrow morning will be one of our coldest starts, maybe even our coldest start so far of the season. Good morning. Coming up here on a post Thanksgiving today, it is Black Friday. Over 100 million Americans now on the hunt for the best deals. We're going to take a close look at what to expect and how big retailers are getting orders to customers despite those unique challenges this year. Also ahead, another challenge families are facing the Santa shortage, threatening to put a very grinchy twist on your holiday. But there are ways to make sure your kids get face time with St. Nick if you plan ahead. And best in show again, Claire. The Scottish Deerhound is the first dog ever to win the National Dog Show twice. She and her owners are joining us live. Making history. Way to go, Claire. That's when we see you right here on Today.